We're continuing on with the lesson 15.2 about permutations for special counts. This is permutations with identical objects 15.2b. We're up to five previous videos for this chapter. If you become lost or confused, click the description to go to the links. We can find permutations of a set of objects that are not all different. Consider the letters of the word feet. If the two E's were different from each other, like upper and lower case, as an uppercase one and a lowercase one, then the number of permutations of the four letters, capital F, capital E, little e, capital T, would be 4P4. That would be 4 factorial. That would equal 24. But we can't distinguish between the two E's in feet. If we had an upper and lower case, there would have been two factorial permutations of the uppercase E and the lowercase E. We have the uppercase and then the lowercase and then the lowercase and the uppercase. If P is the number of permutations of the letters in feet with the two capital E's, we have P times two factorial, which equals four factorial. So we have P equals the quotient of four factorial and two factorial. That's 12 permutations. So I have a theorem for you again. The number of permutations P of n objects taken n at a time with r objects alike, s of another kind alike, t of another kind alike is P equals n factorial over r factorial, s factorial, t factorial. Now, this theorem can be used even if the objects aren't identical. The number of permutations P of the letters W, X, Y, Z, these are all different, is 4 factorial over 1 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial. That's going to equal 4 factorial. We have four objects, one of each. We have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us 24 permutations of W, X, Y, Z. So we can use it, this theorem, even if they aren't identical, okay? How many permutations of letters of the word mom are there? So we have three objects with two objects alike, the two capital M's. We have P equals three factorial over two factorial. We can write the three factorial as a factor with two factorial. As three times two factorial, we can cancel out these common factorials and we get a three. How many permutations of letters of the word mom are there? Now we have a capital M, a lowercase o, and a lowercase m, so they're all different. We have three factorial over one factorial times one factorial times one factorial. We have three objects, but all three objects are different. That gives us three factorial, which gives us three times two times one, which equals six. Which word has more permutations of its letters, Alabama or Georgia? Well, this has seven objects, there's seven letters, and this has seven objects, there's seven letters. But four objects are alike in Alabama, these four A's. That means we have seven factorial over four factorial times one factorial times one factorial times one factorial for each of the other letters. So we have 7 factorial over 4 factorial. We can expand the 7 factorial and write it with a factor of 4 factorial as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Cancel out these common factorials. We get 7 times 6 times 5, which is 210. Now for Georgia, we only have two objects that are alike, the two Gs. All the rest of them are different. So we have 7 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. See? Because they're all different. When we expand the 7 factorial and write it with a factor of 2 factorial, we get 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. We can cancel out these common factorials. We get 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 which means we get 2,520. So the word Georgia has more permutations. Okay? Find the number of permutations in the word D-A-D-D-A, -D -D -A, dada. There are five objects. 
three D's, one, two, three, and two A's. Using the formula from the theorem, we get five factorial over three factorial times two factorial. If we expand this, five times four times three times two times one, we expand this as three times two times one and two times one, we can cancel out the common factors that's going to leave us with a 5 times 4 over a 2 times 1, which is 20 over 2, which is 10. So there's 10 permutations in the word data. How many ways can the product of a squared, b cubed, c squared be written without using exponents? So remember, we can multiply in any order. We have seven objects. There's two alike, three alike, and two alike. We have 7 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. See? We can expand it and cancel out common factors. We're left with 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 over 2 times 2, which gives us a 4 that lets us cancel that one out. We get 7 times 6 times 5, which is 210 ways. Now I'll show you how to do this on a calculator in a second, okay? In how many ways can four blue flags, three red flags, and two green flags be arranged on a staff? Well, we have four blue ones, blue, 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 three red ones, red, 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 and two green, green, green. So we have nine objects with four alike, three alike, and two alike. So we have nine factorial over four factorial times three factorial times two factorial. We can expand this and cancel out common factors and when we do all our math and our division, we get down to 1,260 ways. Now, on a calculator, we could just do this. You hit the 9 and then the X exclamation point button for factorial. You hit di division. You hit a parentheses and a 4 and then the factorial key times 3 and the factorial key times 2 and the factorial key and close parentheses and hit equal and you're going to get 1,260. Okay? So we could do it on a calculator. All right? Our very next lesson is circular permutations. We're going to continue on with 15.2 as 15.2c. All right? We'll talk about people sitting around a table. All right? I hope you're doing well, and I hope I'll see you next time. And if this video was helpful, please hit the like button so I know. All right? Bye.